guys welcome back to the channel so today we are somewhere close to Los Angeles and we're gonna vlog a really sick car a Lexus or Toyota Cell Shore converted and it's super nice and I will vlog it right now and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog please forgive me it's a bit windy here so if it's a bit windy on the sound I'll do my best to edit it out so what we have here is a 2005 Lexus LS430 and it is really sick. It is uh, finished in a pearl white with body kits and custom 20 inch Vogue or work VSXX wheels. So the wheels were custom made in Japan and it took, oh my god, it took at least six months to order the wheels and have it shipped here in the US oh man it's, it's a really nice car so if a lot of you know me and my friend to Doc Mike we really like this car the Lexus LS and this is the I think this is the top of the line package because it does come with the vacuum doors so when you do close the doors you do not need to slam the doors anymore it will just vacuum vacuum it it up like that so this does come with the it has been converted to the Toyota Celsior badgings and everything from the inside and out is a Toyota Celsior including this badge too and what makes this really cool is that to make it a Celsior officially it just needs that right hand drive obviously it's a left hand drive because it is a local US market unit and I think it was picked up in Vegas as well because I think this car is like hard to find nowadays especially in this type of freshness it has really wide 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 wheels and it's really low as you can tell it is on AccuAir system airlift I think and yeah I haven't seen an airlift system yet this is my first time seeing an airlift system and I'm really amazed at how fast it goes down and up it's really convenient especially with all the bumps on the roads we took it out for a test drive earlier and yeah I'm really amazed with how airlift works because I'm not really a big fan of um, air suspension but of course on an LS I think it is a must that you have the airlift especially if you're going with the uh, super wide wheels and 20 inch wheels I don't think you can really see like much into the details like the small details that were made in this car um, here are the covers for the headlights and we have what visors South Shore visors and then the fin and then we have a roof spoiler and then a trunk lip spoiler these were all custom ordered in Japan or not I don't think they were custom but I mean they are originally from Japan so everything from this car is from Japan and also we have an exhaust system I'm not too sure what brand it is but it is pretty sick it's really really low so the rotors were upgraded as well and I think these are stock calipers I'm not too sure but yeah this car does have a body kit on it uh, I will confirm what brand it is but uh, it is really nice and it has a custom plate and you guys can follow this car on Instagram I will leave a link on the description below or I will post it somewhere on the screen on where you guys can follow the build of this car it's really nice and big and wide so the car will go up now by using the phone okay. So we put the car up right now. This is the highest setting, I think. It kind of looks janky on high. And then when we click the airlift button, it, it, it goes on the, I think the driving mode setting. So let's try that. And then we can go lower. If we double tap this. Hold on, there's a car. If we double tap this. It's 
sick. Okay, so we've confirmed that the body kit is from Los Angeles here, local. So I think that's the only local thing about this car. And also the exhaust is from here. I think the body kit is called Auto Shine. And if you can see the mufflers, I think these are um, catbacks because it doesn't sound super loud. So we are in the interior now. I'm sorry, it's really windy outside if you can see. But yeah, we are in the interior right now and you can see that this is an upgraded steering wheel as well and it's on the tail of the badging. And then this is the airlift um, remote that you can use while you're driving in the car. You basically just use the one on the phone when you're at the shows or cars and coffee or whatever. But yeah, this is a super clean, clean, clean interior. I, I think this is a really fresh car. I think my uncle got it like a few years ago. It was a one year build. It has 150,000 miles. And it, from the inside and out, it looks like it only has like 20,000 miles, 10,000 miles. So it is a really fresh build. Even the navigation still works. And the AC blows cold. And this has something happened to my camera I'm sorry but these does still have the custom um, OEM buttons for the sport normal height because this car was a stock air suspension car from Lexus but of course it isn't as good as the airlift system at least from what the owner is saying because I'm not really um, familiar with this car very clean oh, I would love 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 to have a car like this um, someday Hopefully, pagka nasa Pilipinas, makahanap ng ganito. But it is a, I'm pretty sure parts are really rare for this car. Maintenance wise, I'm not sure. I know this comes with a V8. So, yeah. It's just a short clip or short vlog of the Lexus because it was really like last minute. I really like this steering wheel. I think, I'm not sure if my friend T. Gerald, if he has this on his Land Cruiser. I'm not sure if this is a, OEM upgrade or something. I'm not sure if you guys know what the steering wheel is. Please do let me know I'm not really familiar with the parts on the, the car right now And I'm sorry if I if I'm lacking like knowledge because this was really last minute Just like the trims are still in like good condition The chroming the windows are still original Lexus and especially the wheels man. I think the wheels really got me on this. I know my friend James, Mr. James Hezon, I know he had these wheels at some point on his Camry. And, uh, super lowered then. But yeah, I haven't seen like custom made ones for specifically for this Lexus. I, I think my uncle said this is a custom order with a custom specs that is for the LS430. So I don't think it rubs at all. Of course, if it's not like super low but yeah for driving driving height it does not rub because it is specifically made for the ls 430 all right before i end this vlog let me show you the airlift system so this is the airlift system i'm not too familiar as well on i know there's like a lot of packages of airlift but i know this is done here in the states and i think it cost about like five to six thousand dollars as usual, you know how airlifts are ex really expensive. But I've heard that they do last a long time and quality is top notch. And the work is really clean. You know, you can't, like the wirings aren't exposed. It's really nice. It's well wired, which is cool. And the, well, when we drove it earlier, the compressor wasn't really loud at all when we were switching um, ride heights. Okay, so that will be the end of today's vlog. I know it's pretty short, but it's a short update for you all that I am still here in the States and I'll be back soon in Manila and I can't wait to go back and you know do some fun stuff and hopefully meet you guys, my viewers, and I will update you guys when I get home to Manila. But for now, I'm still here in the States, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Please do follow this car on Instagram. And thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace.